Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Share Experience. In our last video, we learned how to solve depreciation problem using straight line method. In this video, we will see diminishing balance method or return down value method. Let's go straight into the problem. A company purchased on 1st July 2015 machinery costing 30,000. It further purchased machinery on 1st Jan 2016 costing 20,000 on, on 1st October 2016 costing 10,000. Here we have three machines. Machine 1 was purchased on 1st July 2015 for 30,000. Machine 2 was purchased on 1st Jan 2016 for 20,000. And machine 3 was purchased on 1st October 2016 for 10,000. Next part of the question says, on 1st April 2017, one third of the machinery installed on 1st July 2015 became obsolete and was sold for 3,000. Here it is talking about the machine 1 that was purchased on 1st July 2015. Company sold one third of the machinery for 3000 on 1st April 2017. Pay attention here. They sold only one third of machinery, not the entire machine. The company follows financial year that is from 1st April to 31st March next year. Rate of depreciation is given that is 10%. We need to show the machinery account in the book of accounts using written down value method. In this problem, it is not mentioned for how many years we need to calculate depreciation. So we need to find out the number of years by understanding the question. First purchase date is on 1st July 2015. From this, we can say that our first financial year is 1st April 2015 to 31st March 2016. Last date given in the problem is 1st April 2017. From this we can say that our last financial year is 1st April 2017 to 31st March 2018. So we need to prepare machinery account for 3 years. Our first financial year is 1st April 2015 to 31st March 2016. Second financial year is 1st April 2016 to 31st March 2017. And third financial year is 1st April 2017 to 31st March 2018. In the first financial year, we have purchased two machines. One on 1st July 2015 for 30,000 and another one on 1st Jan 2016 for 20,000. In the second financial year, we have purchased only one machine on 1st October 2016 for 10,000. In third financial year, we haven't purchased any machine but sold the first machine for 3000. Only one third of the machine is sold. Don't forget this point. Let's start preparing the machinery account now. The format is ledger format as you know. We have three columns on the debit side and three columns on the credit side. In the first financial year that is from 1st April 2015 to 31st March 2016, we have purchased two machines. We will enter these details on the debit side. Purchase date that is 1st July 2015 in the date column to bank account in the particulars column. Whenever we purchase a machine, we write to bank on the debit side because the general entry is machinery account data to bank account. I am assuming that the machine was purchased through check. In general entry, bank account is credited. Here in ledger, it comes on the debit side. Amount is 30,000 for machine 1. Second machine was purchased on 1st Jan 2016 and the amount is 20,000. We write to bank account in the particulars column. At the financial year end that is on 31st March 2016, we charge depreciation on assets. Date is 31st March 2016, that is the year end date. And in particulars column, we write by depreciation account because the journal entry is depreciation account data to machinery account. Since depreciation account is debited in journal, we need to credit it in ledger account. Here we have two machines and we charge depreciation on these two machines. Rate of depreciation is 10% per annum and the method is return down value method. First machine was purchased on 1st July 2015. So we need to calculate depreciation on machine 1 from 1st July 2015 not from 1st April 2015. This is one more important point to remember. So from 1st July 2015 to 31st March 2016, we have 9 months. 
depreciation should be calculated only for 9 months. 30,000 is the purchase value, 10% is the rate of depreciation. So 30,000 into 10 by 100 into 9 by 12 because we are calculating only for 9 months. That comes to 2,250. 2,250 is the depreciation amount for machine 1. Second machine was purchased on 1st Jan 2016. We need to calculate depreciation for Jan, Feb and March months. That is for 3 months. Purchase value is 20,000 and rate of depreciation is 10%. So 20,000 into 10 by 100 into 3 by 12 because we are calculating only for 3 months. That comes to 500. 500 is the depreciation amount on machine 2. We will add the amounts on both the sides. As per the balancing rule, we will write the higher amount on both the sides. Higher amount is on debit side, that is 50,000. In diminishing balance method, while balancing, we should detect the depreciation amount from their respective purchased machine values and write the amounts separately for each machine. We should not club it together as we do it in straight line method. This is one more point to note down. Date column we will write 31st March 2016 and by balance carried down in the particulars column. And below this we will write machine 1 and machine 2 values. So for first machine 30,000 minus 2,250. 30,000 is the purchase value and 2,250 is the depreciation amount. It comes to 27,750. Similarly for machine 2, 20,000 is the purchase value and 500 is the depreciation amount. 20,000 minus 500 is 19,500. We will bring down the same amounts to the beginning of next year, that is 1st April 2016. We will mention it as to balance brought down in the particulars column. And below this, we will write the machine 1 and machine 2 values. These are the reduced values, not the original cost. In the second financial year, we have purchased one machine on 1st October 2016 for 10,000. Whenever we purchase an asset, we write two bank account in the particulars column. Date is 1st October 2016 and the amount is 10,000. At the financial year end, that is on 31st March 2017, we charge depreciation on assets. So the date is 31st March 2017 and in particulars column we write by depreciation account. Here we have three machines in total for second financial year. We have purchased two machines in the first financial year and one machine in this year. We charge depreciation on these three machines. Rate of depreciation is 10% per annum and the method is return down value method. In return down value method, depreciation is calculated on the reduced value of the asset, not on the original cost of the asset. After first year, reduced value of machine 1 is 27,750 and machine 2 is 19,500. We need to calculate depreciation on these reduced values for second financial year. Rate of depreciation is same as 10%. Depreciation on machine 1 is 27,750 into 10 by 100 comes to 2,775. Depreciation on machine 2 is 19,500 into 10 by 100 comes to 1,950. We have calculated depreciation on machine 1 and machine 2 for full year as these were purchased in the first financial year. But the third machine is purchased on 1st October 2016. So we need to calculate depreciation from 1st October 2016 to 31st March 2017. That is only for 6 months. So 10,000 into 10 by 100 into 6 by 12, that comes to 500. 500 is the depreciation amount on machine 3. Like how we have balanced in the first financial year, we do the same in the second financial year too. When you add the amounts on both the sides, we get the higher amount on debit side, that is 57,250. We will write this amount on both the sides. In date column, 31st March 2017, and by balance carried down in particular column on credit side. For machine 1, the amount is 27,750 minus 2,775, which comes to 24,975. We are simply deducting the depreciation amount from the reduced value of the asset. 
27,750 minus 2,775. That comes to 24,975. And for machine 2, the amount is 19,500 minus 1,950. That comes to 17,550. And for third machine, the amount is 10,000 minus 500, which comes to 9,500. Now we will bring down the same amounts to the beginning of next financial year. The date is 1st April 2017 and we write two balance brought down in the particulars column. Below this we will mention all the three machines and their reduced values separately. In the third financial year we have sold one third of the first machine for 3000 on 1st April 2017. Whenever we sell the machine the journal is cash or bank account data to machine account. So bank is debited in journal. Here we credit in the ledger account. In the date column we need to mention the sale date that is 1st April 2017 and write by bank in the particulars column and the amount is 3000 that is a sold value. After selling we need to calculate whether we got loss or gain on machine 1. Reduced value of machine 1 in third financial year is 24,975. We have already calculated this. Here we have sold only one third of the machine. One third of the machine is 24,975 into 1 by 3. That comes to 8,325. This is the book value of one third machine. But we have sold it for 3,000. This 3,000 is called sale proceeds. To find loss or gain, we need to deduct book value from sale proceeds that is 3000 minus 8325 which comes to 5325. This is a negative balance. So we have incurred loss on machine 1. If we get positive amount then it is gain. I have indicated the negative amount in brackets. When we incur loss the journal entry is loss account debtor to machine account. Loss account is debited in journal. Here in ledger account, we need to mention it on the credit side. Date is 1st April 2017. That is the sold date. We write by loss in the particulars column and the amount is 5325. As usual, we need to calculate the depreciation on all the three machines at the year end. Date is 31st March 2018 and we write by depreciation account in the particulars column. Before selling, reduced value of machine 1 in third year is 24,975 and one third of it is 8,325. We need to deduct this 8,325 from 24,975 which comes to 16,650. This is our left out asset value. On this value we should charge depreciation, not on the original value. So 16,650 into 10 by 100 comes to 1,665. For machine 1, the depreciation amount is 1,665. Write this on the credit side. For machine 2 and machine 3, we calculate the depreciation for whole year on the reduced values. That is 17,550 into 10 by 100 which comes to 1,755. This is the depreciation amount for machine 2. and 9500 into 10 by 100 is 950. 950 is a depreciation amount for machine 3. At the financial year end, that is on 31st March 2018, we charge depreciation on assets. Date is 31st March 2018 and in particulars column, we write by balance carried down. As usual, we need to balance the amounts on both the sides. Higher amount is on debit side, that is 52,025. Write this on both the sides. Reduced value of machine 1 is 16,650 minus 1,665. We are simply deducting the depreciation value from the reduced value of the asset. So reduced value is 16,650 minus depreciation amount is 1,665 which comes to 14,985. This 14,985 is the new reduced value for financial year 3. Similarly, reduced value of machine 2 is 17,550 minus 1,755 comes to 15,795 and for machine 3, 9,500 minus 950 is 8,550. To know the balance of the machinery account, we need to bring down these values to the beginning of the next financial year. 
the date is 1st april 2018 and we write to balance brought down in the particulars column and below this we mention the reduced values of all the three machines on the debit side machine 1 value is 14985 machine 2 is 15795 and machine 3 is 8550 when we add these three amounts we get 39330 39330 is the balance of the machinery account this is how we calculate depreciation using return down value method or diminishing balance method and prepare machinery account hope you have understood this topic well if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section and provide your feedback if this video is helpful please like and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications Thank you for watching have a nice day and enjoy learning